Hey everyone, welcome back to Colorful Indian. I am so excited because I am here to talk to you about my favorite palettes for Christmas. So I am doing this a little bit early because generally I wait for way too long and then you know like everybody's finished putting up their videos and I'm just putting it up right at the end like how I did for my fall. So I'm actually just going to be mentioning a few palettes of mine that I'm considering for this wonderful season and I thought that you would like to hear about it. So I'm not going to be ranking this in any particular order. Um, I have some old palettes, some newer palettes from this year, and I'm just going to be sharing everything with you. I don't have like a ton of makeup for this particular video. I just want to share my thoughts on like a few palettes here and there that I've tried. I'm going to go brand by brand if that's okay, because I do have like multiple palettes from similar brands and everything and um, some of them are already packed in my suitcase so I will just show you a photograph and I will let you know my thoughts on it. So anyway, um, the first thing I want to start with is probably Simply Posh. Now Simply Posh has been around for a long time and I had the chance to try out their very first Cozy Cabin palette so I had to put that on the list. Now obviously they have revamped it and they have come up with the holiday edition so it's kind of like, ooh, you know, there's so much to play with over here. And I thought that it was worth mentioning, you know, both of these palettes for the season because we're coming into winter and the tones and everything are just wonderful. So this is the original palette over here and it's really, really awesome. I love the uh, the duochromes. I feel like these are like very, very early duochromes, you know, like when everybody was first starting to get into it. So the formula is definitely different from the newer formula and I did say in my video, if you want to go check that out, I did say that I actually recommend, highly recommend getting the holiday palette. If you'd like to do so, you can use my code, which is Ranita. It gets you 10% off your purchase, um, but I really, really love the old one as well. It holds memories for me, and that's why I felt it was only right to showcase that one. Now, the next one is obvious. That is going to be the holiday edition one, which, as you can see, is absolutely gorgeous. These shades are wonderful and beautiful, and honestly, if you try them out, I don't think that you're going to regret it. The formula is creamy. The mattes are wonderful. They blend so easily, and it's that harder, um, you know, duochrome formula that's not emollient. It doesn't move around in the pan while giving very very, very beautiful, slick kind of eyeshadow looks, just very wet and very beautiful. And I love the formula of this one, which is why I had to mention it. Um, next, we have another Simply Posh palette, which is obvious, very icy over here, which goes more into like actual winter tones and shades. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, I had played with this and I had done some looks. I really love the palette. I love the tones in here and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you're actually looking for like a cooler, icier kind of palette, this is probably the one for you. And again, you get six wonderful duochromes, wonderful formula as well. They're not emollient and you get beautiful shifts on your eyes. I think that the formula is nice, but I think that the holiday edition one is a lot I think the holiday edition one is definitely like a bit stronger for me because I felt like some of those shades in there Were not even looking like duochromes to me because they had more colors showing up than duochromes do So that's why I was rating that one particular like I was rating that particular cozy cabin um, holiday edition one higher that's probably the yeah, I would rate that higher than the very icy. Now we come to two very old palettes that are just not around anymore. You may still have them, but I thought it was worth mentioning. So this one over here is called Icy Chill. This was one of Simply Posh's, you know, initial uh, 12 pan duochrome palettes. Uh, there are shifts in color here and they are very, very beautiful. And I had a lot of fun using this, like just for myself and on my own, because, you know, um, it's not available on the site anymore. So I kind of just use these, you know, only when you know, the season comes around and everything, and I really like them. These are not magnetic pans because these are the older palettes, but I really, really loved Icy Chill. And the next choice is called Northern Lights, also by Simply Posh Cosmetics. They had so many of these beautiful 12 pan duochrome palettes, and I really enjoyed them. I had so much fun with these. Um, of course, I, I really enjoy their matte formula as well. So, you know, you can just mix and match if you have multiple palettes of theirs, but this is just so perfect for Christmas. I really feel like it's beautiful all the jewel tones here it just reminds you of a Christmas tree I do want to include genuine gems in this particular one as well but I will tell you the reason why so genuine gems is just so it feels so rich and so opulent when you're looking at this color story and I kind of feel like a lot of people a lot of us will be dressing up and looking our absolute best during Christmas and this would go so well with so many looks not to say that the others wouldn't but this just feels royal and so beautiful and bold so if you're looking for that absolute gorgeous pop of color I feel like genuine gems would be perfect and if you want a 
palette that complements genuine gems well then you need to just hold on for the next one because i am going in now to my nomad palettes so from nomad cosmetics i have royal europe which i think is perfect for this particular season um again you know so many parties and this is just a beautiful beautiful group of colors over here i love the multi-chromes and i think the multi-chromes go so so well with genuine gems i have done that combination before for myself and on the channel and i had so much fun just combining these two together and i thought they were just fantastic so you can combine nomad and simply posh and have a lot of fun with these palettes and i think that for christmas especially it's just wonderful because you know you're going to be like i don't know about you but i'm going to be dressing up and usually when i dress up i love to have beautiful vibrant shades on my eyes and everything for Christmas so yeah this is a win for me like a must for Christmas now if you're looking for more everyday shades for Christmas I would go in for Nomad Whistler's Snow Lodge palette uh, this is probably it's not available anymore on the site unfortunately but this is an older palette and I really really loved it I love the formula love the looks that I could get from the palette as well I had so much fun with this so the generally Nomad's formula is excellent it's um, you know creamy and the mattes are blendable very very pigmented and I absolutely love using them so yeah I felt like Whistler's had to be here you know because it, it was literally like a Christmas palette um, next we have this mini palette by Nomad now a lot of people did not like using this palette but I absolutely loved I love using it I had a good time with it I don't know why the formula was different over here and people weren't very happy with it and I know that you know the the formula was a bit of a problem for a lot of individuals but I'm just dipping back in and you know I'm just looking at those shades just they're so beautiful it's so ethereal so magical if you don't want to get like this nomad palette then you could actually um get the next palette which I'm actually very excited to introduce to my Christmas collection um because I recently just tested it out so that would be Resurrection over here by Wicked Widow Beauty. I highly recommend this one for Christmas. There are so many Christmas tones in here. A lot of these shades can remind you easily of tinsel balls and everything else. And if you are looking for those more ethereal shades, there's a whole section up there for you. So that would be ethereal itself and halo. Um, look at those two. These are incredible, aren't they? And I've got them on my eye. Look at that, right? They're right here. So you can see how beautiful these shades are. They're so creamy and so gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. And um, I'm very, very happy with this palette. You need to check out my review if you want to know more about this palette because I went and I tried out every single shade. I didn't do looks, but I did test it out like this. You can go hear my thoughts on it, but I would not be including this if I didn't have faith in the palette and I didn't love it. This is also available at a discount. I have a code. It's Ranita and you get 10% off essentially. So this, this is another, this is another Nomad palette that I feel should also be on the Christmas list simply because the color story is so beautiful. I have never actually tried this palette. I bought it like when they were having a Black Friday and then I thought I would get around to it and I never did. So I'm actually planning to explore this um you know this particular christmas but i wanted to put it on the list because it gives off such beautiful christmasy vibes and colors and i just love like i've watched a lot of reviews on this palette and i only heard good things about it so i feel very confident actually just bringing it up and saying that you know hey this is a wonderful palette i will have a review coming up and i think that if you want to get this you should run and get it because nomad is phasing this one out it's now available on their website for 29 dollars. and again if you want to pick up anything on nomad all the brands that i've mentioned so far simply posh nomad um wicked widow beauty you can use ranita and get 10 percent off your purchases so if that's something you want to go and do go and do that um i would also like to recommend adept cosmetics inspired palette now this is also a palette that i have seen other people use i haven't gotten into it yet but just looking at the initial shades the color changes and knowing the joy that i had with sumerian sunset i could not like not include this particular palette for christmas i actually think that the tones in there look fantastic for christmas they would be so beautiful for like a party even for new year's you know these all these palettes would do so well for new year's and just look wonderful even like cozy cabin especially like the holiday edition that would go so well even like for um new year's i think i also wanted to mention terra moons they had you know their fall 
Equinox collection and there were like these um, seven cooler tone shades that were just so beautiful and perfect for Christmas, absolutely perfect in every way for Christmas and I felt like yes I have to include that palette. The other one would be Salem and the Witch, the remastered one. I feel like there were certain tones in there that would go so well, especially the holographic shades in there. Really loved that and I felt that that would be beautiful for Christmas. I feel like it's more of a green pink purple. Green pink purple always screams summer to me so I wouldn't say the whole palette you know for winter but I did like those holographic shades and I felt like th those were so magical and so beautiful and kind of wintry in a sense and that's the reason why I'm including them here and I think for now that's basically what I'm looking forward to trying you know throughout winter like I'm looking forward to these specific palettes and just you know getting uh, my chance to use them and that's all I have for you thank you for joining me you know for my winter Christmas recommendations I do have a few more that I'd like to add on but I'd probably do that like after a bit of time has passed for now like these palettes are the ones that I have singled out as you know the ones that I'm mostly interested in kind of trying during this season let me know if you have different choices I'd love to hear from you and I will see you soon for another video but thank you for joining me for this one and if you found it helpful then you can hit the subscribe button be sure to check out my other indie makeup you know brand playlists and um, you can go and you can check out all those makeup videos there if that's what you're interested in doing and I will see you soon for another makeup video Lots of love to you. Bye.